I welcome all of you on platform of Europedia Education and my this video is related to the analysis of previous uh, paper uh, which was uh, there for the same post which is advertised this time also assistant executive engineer in Telangana Public Service Commission. So there was a paper and uh, today I am going to, I am not going to do detailed analysis that Vishal sir will do but I am going to tell you that uh, what kind of paper you can expect and how the preparation strategy should be uh, for this particular exam. You know in India for various jobs there are different kind of exams. There are exams like engineering services, gate exam and uh, there are exams like public sector are conducting for them like HPCL. Then there are exams which uh, research organization DRDO, ISRO, BARC are conducting and then state uh, government uh, jobs also have different exam pattern. We should uh, very specifically prepare for particular exam. You should not mix the preparation. Like gate, requirement for gate exam is different. Requirement for airport authority of India exam is different. HPCL is different. So every exam has its own different requirement. The good thing is like for these kind of exam, if you have some basis, then 2-3 months are sufficient to focus your uh, you know, preparation in a particular direction, make a strategy and do good in the exam. So that is how you should try to do. My this video is related to that only. So this is for Telangana Public Service Commission. Lot of seats have come there and my analysis is for mechanical engineering. Same analysis uh, may be done, will be done for civil engineering and electrical engineering also. Now for uh, this last previous years, uh, couple of things you need to keep in your mind. Number one, it is one minute one question paper that means you will get two and half hours and in that you have to solve 150 questions. <coughs> there are multiple choice question in which only one answer will be correct. You cannot use the mobile uh, sorry this uh, uh, any of your you know this calculator and all that is not uh, to be uh, allowed that is not there. There is no negative marking for the wrong answer also. So the moment you say no calculator, no negative marking, one minute, one question, pattern of the paper is decided, difficulty level is decided. That means you will not get long numericals, you will get lot of theory, you have to cover entire syllabus and some important question which can be asked, data related that is what you have to prepare. So if you are very good in gate exam, you will clear this also, that is not true. Pattern is different from gate, ISRO, engineering services objective. Do not start doing engineering services objective also. It is not required. Pattern is not like that. Pattern is very simple. And simple but yes, preparation is required for that direction. You need to prepare different data kind of questions. Let me give you some kind of questions which were previous years uh, it was asked. How do you define the closed system? Now you need to make, uh, you need to have some kind of common sense of the theory. These are the terminologies which you study when you start reading some subject. Suppose you start reading thermodynamics, then you will start reading these things. What is closed system? What is open system? What is the, you know, kind of boundaries, closed boundary, open boundary, flexible boundary? What is the meaning of the surrounding universe? So you study these terminologies. Question can be framed from there. As I told you, it is largely going to be theoretical and data oriented and very basic numericals. Auto cycle why it is called constant volume heat addition cycle. So what is the logic for that? Again when you start reading auto cycle in the gate kind of exams you focus on the numericals and how you have to solve the temperature pressure at different points. He is not going to ask you that. He is going to ask you why it is called constant volume heat addition process. Very basic question he might give you. If he gives you you know uh, temperature within which Carnot cycle works you can find out the efficiency 1 minus T2 by T1. And if you know what is the W produced, efficiency is also Q, W by Q1. So you want to calculate Q1, very simple question. Numerical will be very straightforward numerical. You do not require calculator for that. So what if dryness fraction is less than 1, very common sense based question. So in these kind of exams, difficulty level is not high. But yes, lot of data may be there, you need to remember. If you do not revise, if you do not have the knowledge about the data, you may not hit that answer correctly. And you know list because the jobs are very good and entire Telangana uh, students will be very motivated to join these jobs. They are very good jobs. So competition is also going to be high. You can't take anything for granted. You have to prepare nicely. 
there are some topics like boilers and all you don't study that in gate exam and all so boilers and all they are theoretical subjects here you have to study here you have to read these subjects for this particular exam then there are certain kind of questions which are you know information based questions <laughs> when the uh, what kind of you know these uh, devices safety valves you use in uh, boilers and all what are the accessories what are the safety valves what are the safety parameters or devices yeah which is not part of vehicle chassis these kind of questions now this question from where where do you read this question they are important actually for practical purposes so we need to take hold of we need to basically refer the most important standard books from where these questions can be framed and start preparing on that so that is what exactly is required we need to prepare on that particular line so there are some you know 2 3000 questions of mechanical engineering from the standard books there are standard books 5 6 books 2 3000 questions and then we need to make sense it is not that you can revise without making linkages i give you example like even if you are to revise 2000 words in vocabulary you cannot uh, bl blindly start re uh, remembering those words you need to make some kind of linkages those linkages help you to basically answer the questions in the exam so what is the acute angle attachment uh, where where do you use this so from metrology also they are going to ask you some basic very basic question and these are the topics which you do not normally study for your gate exam right so data oriented question what is the gap which you maintain between tool and workpiece and you know that ecm electrochemical machining is a very important non conventional machining process in which very small gap is kept and that is the reason we need to apply high pressure so we talk about that gap but how much is that gap that question can be directly asked arc welding arc welding mein what is the temperature gas welding what is the temperature what is the temperature in the arc welding gas welding you know 3200 3300 degree centigrade goes arc welding 5000 6000 temperature you can think of so lathe bed are made up of you know cast iron is a very resilient material so good res in resilience it can uh, save the elastic strain energy and give it back to you so that is good resilience actually so this is how this uh, no it is made up of what that is how it is to be done so then basic question from you know uh, this center of gravity how it is to be found so basic question can be asked from there also no i believe uh, these are the questions which uh, uh, were in the previous years they were asked so in my opinion that is a very uh, simple very simple questions were there hardly anything in these questions but yes uh, questions are simple does not mean competition becomes simple you understand that pattern of the questions is simple one question one minute no negative marking you understand uh, the cut off is going to be very high because students are going to prepare but yes the preparation of this exam is different from gate exam and your pda is going to make a dedicated module we have already made dedicated module in which 2 3000 questions of uh, mechanical engineering we will understand and we will revise those questions and next 2 to 3 months we'll make a very compressive and good module for this particular exam because your pda is actually the champion in making tailor made modules for the exams and that is what we are going to do so let's start preparing and let's score really high in this particular exam so join us online or offline in hyderabad campus so that we prepare nicely for this exam so all the very best and this entire paper will be solved by our mentor so keep watching that also thank you